Hey everybody, it's KMP from Disastrous Videos. Figured I'd talk to you today about what to binge on Netflix, in my opinion. First, I'd like to start off with the Marvel series. If you haven't watched it yet, uh, to start Marvel series, you have to watch Dead Devil Season 1, Jessica Jones Season 1, Dead Devil Season 2, Luke Cage Season 1, Iron Fist Season 1, The Defender Season 1, and The Punisher just came out, so that's Season 1 of Punisher, and Jessica Jones Season 2. If you haven't started yet, it's not a fast binge, so I would recommend like doing like three episodes, four episodes a day, if you can, so you catch up. This is if you're just into the Marvel, the Marvel superheroes, but if you're not, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but if you are, it's definitely highly recommended. It's a very good TV show. All of them are very good TV shows. I guarantee you, once you start watching the Dead Devil season one, you're gonna want to continue watching the rest of the shows and see what happens. Uh, number two on the list. I would recommend is a Netflix original series called Stranger Things. It's it's about two. It's only two seasons. It's uh, 17 episodes. So it's pretty much a, it's a pretty quick binge, I would say, to go through. It won't take you long. Maybe like three days to watch it fully. Uh, if you haven't seen it or ever heard of it, it is pretty much like The Goonies meets ET. That's probably the best way of explaining what it is. It's, it's a really excellent show. If you're into the 80s. It takes place in the 80s. It, it makes you feel like I came from the 80s. I'm a kid from the 80s. So maybe take me back to my like my childhood and how it has that feeling of the 80s. Very, very well written. Very good show. I highly recommend you uh, check it out. All right, this is the final one I'm going to recommend. I'm going to do three. Uh, Sons of Anarchy. If you've never seen it, it starts off a little slow in season one, but it picks up. It is a very well written show. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. What's going to happen next? If you've never seen it, it's like a, it's about, about pretty much like a one Becca gang in California who interacts with other Becca, Becca gangs, uh, drug lords, uh, weapon exchanges, uh, the cartel. It's it's a really, really great show to get into. Once you start watching it and get past the, the slow parts of season one, you're gonna want to keep watching it. It's one of those shows where you're like, oh, let's see what's next. What's the next thing that happens? Great show. Highly recommend people tune in to watch it. These are my top three for this week that I recommend on Netflix. I'll try to do this like once a week, this kind of thing, to see uh, what you guys can tune into. I'm not going to make it. There's a whole bunch. I'm not going to go over them. I'll just keep it at three for right now. I was also recommended by Wayne Nation to watch uh, House of Cards and Black Mirror, I think it's called. And Mr. Kaplan recommended The Blacklist. So when I'm done right now, I'm currently watching Jessica Jones Season 2. So when I'm done watching Jessica Jones, I'll probably check out, I'll probably go to Blacklist first since Kaplan mentioned it to me first. I'll check out the Blacklist and then I'll go to House of Cards and then the Black Mirror, which uh, Wayne told me to watch. With that, I'm going to end the video here. If you've already seen these shows, please leave in the comments below uh, what you thought of them. And I will see you disasters next time.